fellow of the College of Technology Engineering, the Royal Technical College, which started in 1956. By then, uh, the East Africa engineers and, and architects were many trained in the University of Nairobi, and the other professionals were trained in the other East African university. The, the college was held at the training of engineers, the foundation, the training of technical staff in this country and that, that in the region. But subsequently, in the 70s, the University of Nairobi got a charter, and then the the the, the, the Kai now started producing engineers. The School of Engineering is unique in the sense that uh, we offer five different degrees. If you compare ourselves to, say, a School of Law, which is maybe giving just one degree, and uh, we give degrees BSc Electrical and Electronic Engineering, BSc Civil Engineering, BSc Mechanical Engineering, BSc Geospatial Engineering, and BSc Environmental Biosystems Engineering. We are offering Masters and PhD programs in those various disciplines. The school was originally called Faculty of Architecture, Design and Development, but the restructuring of the university programs in 2004 led to the, school, to the faculty being broken into two schools. We now have the School of the Built Environment and the School of the Arts and Design. The idea of this split was that so that the School of the Arts and Design could be able to grow and begin to go beyond graphic design and textile design, move into theater arts, move into all the other creative uh, design areas. The School of the Built Environment now comprises of three departments, Department of Architecture and Building Science, a Department of Urban and Regional Planning, and Department of Real Estate and Construction Management. These three departments offer professional degree courses in the Department of Architecture, we have a two-tier degree, uh, which runs for six years. The first tier of four years offers a Bachelor of Architectural Studies, a non-professional degree after four years. And then after that, you come, the student is allowed to come back for another two years to get the Bachelor of Architecture, which is the professional degree. On the other hand, the Department of Urban and Regional Planning was offering a diploma. Then they started offering a postgraduate degree in Urban and Regional Planning, MA, Urban and Regional Planning. Uh, this went on for some time until 2003, when now we started to offer undergraduate program, BA in Planning. Both the MA Planning and the BA Planning are all professional. The idea is that now we will be producing more uh, professional planning at undergraduate level. In the Department of Real Estate and Construction Management, which was originally a Department of Land Development, it got uh, split into two departments, Building Economics and Land Economics. Now changed names to have kind of a professional flair. So now it's the Department of Real Estate and Construction Management offering three degree programs. Bachelor of Quantity Surveying, Bachelor of Real Estate, and Bachelor of construction management. The Institute of Nuclear Science and Technology that mainly focuses mainly work is research and focuses mainly on postgraduate programs. All those other uh, these schools have undergraduate programs, postgraduate programs and also PhDs. The Institute of Nuclear Science and Technology doesn't have undergraduates, only have postgraduates. My name is Zainab. I'm from Nairobi. I study arts and design. My name is Fatma Mathar from Mombasa, and I study for electrical engineering. My name is Rosalyn Chariot. I'm from Eldoret. Uh, I'm doing BCM, construction management. My name is Amesha Kokeo. I'm studying art and design. My name is uh, Habe Moshigadi Mwikamba. I do study civil engineering. Joy Nyangor, civil engineering. Millicent Wairimunganga. 
Civil Engineering, University of Nairobi. My name is Sami Akim. I'm a student architect. I was interested in electrical engineering from the beginning. That's why I chose it during the reviewing of degree choices and I ended up here. I chose construction management because the name was funky. <laughs> yeah, it seemed fun. And our course is all about doing everything. We do law, we draw, we do architecture, we do engineering. Anybody who wants to join programs in this college must attain at least a name minders to be admitted. Uh, when the code postgraduate and postgraduate programs, basically a degree in that area is not a graduate is requirement. In other words, if you're going to do an MSc in civil engineering, you must have a BSc in civil engineering, either from the University of Nairobi or from other recognized institutions accredited by, recognized by the Senate of the University of Nairobi. Our degrees are internationally recognized. For example, the degree of Bachelor of Architecture is accredited by the Commonwealth Association of Architects, CAA. And in the region, it is the only school which is fully accredited. They visit every five years. Our association with most international universities makes our graduates acceptable across the globe. The major milestone so far team certain is the growth of the college, the growth of the student numbers, the growth of staff numbers, and the programs in terms of enrichment. Currently, we have almost 2,000 students in the school, uh, which has grown almost fourfold. Since about 2005, we had about 700 students. Now we have about uh, 2,000 students. We have um, increased admissions more than three times uh, what the original capacity was. And uh, also we have uh, had additional programs, at least two programs, which were not originally in the School of Engineering. I have really had uh, a very good interaction with my lecturers. They are free to talk to us, even joke with us, they're just nice. This is a very good school, the lectures are very good. We have good lecturers who are very well experienced. The resources are also fine. We have good technicians who take us through the sessions in the labs. University life is it's good, it's joyful, it's enjoyable. You only need to know how to plan your time. The Department of Civil Engineering has helped me like actually develop in, in the sense that I'm able to balance my, my time for studies, my time for the practicals. Social life is a bit odd for us. Probably we'll have to date someone who's as busy as you, so it's, you're not indulging someone who's, who has a lot of... You. Yeah, they understand. They're not always free calling yeah. and wanting to talk for long hours because you don't have that kind of time. But in terms of work, very agile people, always on their feet. We don't have much uh, of a social life, but still we try, we try to, to go. In. The way the system is, uh, is designed here in ADD, it is in such a way that it allows you to, to test your creativity. It is not towards the technical aspects of architecture, but the creative aspects of architecture. And that is one thing that you'll find about this school um, that really, really makes it easier for us to learn architecture as well as get to achieve our aims and goals. The course is holistic. It uh, makes us produce designers who are all-rounded, a designer who can do any design task, regardless to major specialization. We have uh, benchmarked our programs with the best universities, I mean international universities. Uh, we are uh, we have reviewed our, we are reviewing our curriculums in conformity with uh, the trends that are coming up in the world today. And uh, we are also uh, being innovative in our presentation of uh, the curricula. We are adopt adopting now uh, ICT much more in the presentations of our programs. We are uh, having our students 
to be very ICT uh, compliant so that they are learning to do things, um, designs through ICT. We engage external examiners from uh, world known universities who come and actually review our exams and uh, give us useful comments in areas where we may be wanting so that we can be able to to improve. We appreciate the need for us to, to, to diversify our network and both at national and international level and we do have collaborations at international level with other universities of the world. For example, we have uh, we have uh, collaboration with universities in the UK, um, in the US, particularly uh, Texas A&M. We are right, right now collaborating to develop a curriculum in petroleum engineering, which is coming as a result of the need because of the country has the region also have, have found some gas and some gas and petroleum in petroleum deposits. So we, we are particularly with them. Also at the local at the local level, we do appreciate. Charity begins at home, of course. There is need for this college to partner st critically with industry. Once we partner with industries, government ministries, industries, private sectors, we will also be able to fight to uh, address the challenges they find in their day-to-day -day operations. And therefore, that, that collaboration will help us to do applied research, which will also go a long way in supporting us, our programs, generating income, and also generating wealth and knowledge that is required for the country. We have work study in the college. We try to give to students some work which can support them. Well, of course, some, unfortunately, some time is also challenging. We go to the individual level. But to solve that, the college had decided to set up some need kit again. And we have solved the, from this year. And so far, we have actually fact, uh, managed to generate one million Kenya shillings. So we are, we are going to set up a committee within a college that is going to now identify these needy students so that they can be able to dispute up these funds to them to support them. When I was in first year, it was kind of difficult uh, because um, I come from a single parent family, partially orphaned. Uh, and then I came to know about uh, the special student advisor's office, Professor Muriuki's office. Um, who sources for sponsors for financially needy students and um, Ratansi came in. Being a beneficiary of Ratansi Education Trust, I was able to successfully complete my education. Career opportunities for Kai graduates is enormous because the Kai, the, 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 the Kai program possibly produces professionals in the various disciplines. And these professionals are mainly industry-related professionals. I am an innovator, per se, for now. Looking forward to big, bigger dreams and bigger innovations in the next future. To be able to improve the life of Kenyans and various African countries and solve solutions. Construction management is lucrative uh, because it was introduced eight years ago. It's new. And when you get out there, we'll get jobs and it's... Yeah, it's, it's easy to get a job, you won't stomach for long. Most of the graduates are the one money, most of the government uh, parastatos. We have had prominent architects uh, working in this country and they have done a lot of work in the area of planning. A lot of uh, the planners in this country are all alumni of this, including Plan Mbagwa, Plan Makunda, who are all students of this school. University of Nairobi is an institution of higher learning that you know gains or has respect or has respect um, both uh, locally you know, amongst other universities in Kenya and also at a regional level uh, both in East Africa and, uh, and Africa. Because of the education I received at the University of Nairobi uh, I'll be able to light the path to development in my home county. <laughs>